Then question number 14. Uh, incidents at JIDEX. How many incidents took place which were not so good or which are memorable? Well, uh, the, <laughs> the one that really stands out was when I was dressed up uh, wearing black with the horns and a little bit of blood. I was scared as to how, uh, you know, the, the conservative culture of the Arabs, how they would take me, but they, they accepted me. Uh, but this, what happened was there was one Arab police who, who just grabbed my hand and I thought I was in serious trouble. He took me along with him and then he takes me dead center in the Dubai police uh, stand and uh, I'm like, oh my goodness, I am finished. And uh, the next thing I know, all of them, they're like, hey, and all that and they start taking photographs and uh, they were really nice. Uh, they were really nice. I, I I thought I was in deep trouble. I thought I was I was going to jail. So when I was scared of um, the uh, the the local population, they were actually pretty uh, understanding. And uh, even I got called in the Abu Dhabi stand, and they all made me take photographs of each and every person. Uh, I, was, I, I was I was really scared. I, I, uh, so that was one that was one that really stands out in my mind. Uh, the other one was. Um, I was scaring people, I was scaring people, I was trying to be a little humorous. Um, there were incidents where, there, I think five or six, where uh, they gave me bad words. The worst one was someone taking a group of brochures, heavy brochures, and they just threw it on my face and they kind of hit me and uh, I apologize and they still use bad words and so I guess that's a, that's why. There was one gentleman who I just scared this lady by just standing there and she got scared and he 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 threatened to beat me up so i apologize but you know that was kind of stupid uh, i don't know but that's uh, you shouldn't threaten anyone then uh, people asking me stupid questions people ask me if i was a boy or girl people ask me if i was gay people asking me if i was uh, the antichrist some asking me if i'm part of some illuminati uh, illuminante or some sh i don't know what what nonsense and then some others saying, bro, uh, are we the Antichrist? Uh, uh, come on, man, <laughs> give me a break. I don't know from where you get this. Then some others, do, uh, do you do drugs? Uh, so these are some of the stupid questions people did ask me. Then I, I normally show this sign, you know, this sign, because it kind of looks funky. But there is this Christian doctrine that this is a sign of the devil. I, because it has two horns and it has a look like this, so it's a sign of the devil. So people are like, this is a sign of the devil. So I started showing this. They're like, no, this is evil. This shows violence. Then I was like, show this. No, this is disrespectful in certain cultures. Then finally, I was like, what? Should I show this? Come on, man. It's like, imagine a photo. He, like this. Oh, so I can't satisfy everyone. So some people had this theory that, you know, I had all these signs of the devil. And, um, oh, yes, the most, uh, if I could, uh, you know, give you one uh, thing that really surprised me, Jidex. Most of the Arabs knew me because of the interview that was taken in the uh, newspaper that I was the evil spirit of Sarja, the, the jinn of Sarja. So a lot of Arabs knew me and I was pretty surprised about it. And, uh, but, but they were very courteous. They were really nice. And uh, uh, that was really, really nice of them. So I really have a lot of respect and regard for them. But yes, we need to respect and understand that they have a conservative culture. So you can't just you know, start fooling around with them. We need to uh, respect their culture just as they respect us. So it's live and let live.